good morning welcome to today's vlog Sunday it's the end of week eight I'm out today in the Vale of Beaver I've met up with Dan Smith we take me across some fields and I've fallen off and drawn blood so good morning Dan why have you brought me across the field and made me draw blood just to add some variety and test the gravel bike Dan's uh, having to adjust his seat. He's fitted a new saddle with six inches of padding on it. So he's uh, having to adjust himself. So this is the kind of track that um, the cross point really excels in. So myself and Dan, we're just ridden along here. It was a little bit smoother than this, where we just came from, but we were doing like 15 to 18 mile an hour quite easily. Um, really good to be on tracks like this. We're very dry at the moment as well, just dusty, no mud. We were quite deeply rutted in places. A couple of places was on the border of uh, rideable, but on the whole, these tracks are really nice. Quite a few cars here, there's a few people walking. This is quite a popular area for walkers. This is part of the Viking Way, it's an area called, I think it's called the Drift. But over the years there have been problems with people green laning down here in trucks, motorbikes, trail bikes, but um, I think this bit has improved a little bit over the years. But it is a very nice area to, to ride in. This road actually or track goes in total i think it goes about eight miles eight nine miles so it's quite nice to be able to ride this kind of track um, off road for relatively long distances so perfect for this kind of bike so uh, i'm at saltby airfield i'm following dan who tells me i've got to come down here but I saw the sign, so I know there's an air shelter. But this could be interesting. Let's see what we can find. Where is it? Ah! Oh. Can you go in it? Yep. Did you remember a light? Who has got a light? He's organised. Look at this look, Dan is perfectly at one with his technology. How weird. I don't think there's any electric, it's a, it must have been quite scary if it came down here in the wall, bombs dropping. Just a bit. You think that's what, 70, 80 years old? Yeah, amazing. We'll come back out into the woods. So we're about uh, 20 miles in now to the right and we've just been along this track. This is quite a little bit bumpy but not too bad. But Dan could hear well, that thought his tyre was a bit squishy and uh, it's really tubeless, but it's got a bit of a leak. So we're just doing a minor run and repair, put a bit more air in. Hopefully. 
Danny's very experienced with the pump, as you can see. He has that action. <laughs> Carbon wrapped pump as well. Oh, nothing but the best. So hopefully that will hold to the coffee shop anyway. So hopefully that has fixed Dan's puncture, which was in the in the sidewall. I was just talking to our, our friends on the vlog. Hey, hey, now you fix, you'll get to the coffee shop. I hope so. Really strange puncture that, as though something's just jabbed up the sidewall and taken a made a hole in there. We've left the cafe where we sat outside for takeaway coffee on the chairs and tables provided. I know what I might think about that. So, uh, yeah, a bit of excitement now because we've come to the village of Coston and we're going to go through a Ford. So, yeah. So, here we go. You've got to keep going confidently. Oh, I've got away feet now. <laughs> well, that was good fun. I think it's a boy thing, isn't it? Going through, uh, going through water, water and mud. Nice cars there, stop for picnic, nice MGs. So when I was choosing what bike to get, um, it was Dan coming round that enticed me towards, or one of the reasons that enticed me towards the Trek point. So Dan, what else did you look at before you bought your Trek? So I had the Sunday Camino. Yep. There was the Genesis <laughs> and the Ribble CGR. But I was looking at them all with the group sets the wheel size, just the other components that came in. What clinched it for me on the track was I was offered a really good deal on this one and I buy it now, pay it later, so that helped a lot. Yeah. But also the fact that it had a 105 double chain set and because I was going to use it road and off-road, if it had been primarily off-road then the one by would have been a you know, keep it all clean in the mud. Because I use it road and off-road, so you see the road bit of track and dive down the track and give me the best of both worlds. Yeah well that's pretty, pretty much the same for me because I thought if I was going to ride it mainly off-road I'd have gone for a one by but to stay on road and to keep a reasonable speed the, the 105 is actually a really good chain set. Yeah I think it's really nice I've never struggled with the gears it's a steep climb today which is you know, really pushing the limits of the bike probably could have done with an extra gear but yeah yeah, I think it, and it was um, I never, you know, never, never run out of steam. It, you know, the bike spins up to speed quite nicely. It's got really nice range of gears.
here is in the Viking Challenge race. And I think my heart was going to explode when I was to here. It was a little bit easier today. But it's a lot easier today. <laughs> Have you done the Viking along here? Yes. In sun, wind, rain. Snow, hail, mud. Yeah, and when it's muddy, oh, you know it's muddy. It's been a uh, bit hard ride, good ride, but some hard, hard stuff. And we're going to end up um, a bit over 40 miles, maybe might just scrape to 45. But yeah, it's a mixture of some tracks I've been down before, some new ones for me that Dan's take me on. So it's quite nice, you know, going, going with some somebody different because you tend to end up riding some different different places you've never been before. So it's been quite good. We've got a long drag off road now, up to a little village. I've done this part of the route before and it is a long old drag. But beautiful day, beautiful skies. And yeah, it's been a really good ride. So uh, just want to say as always, thanks for watching. Did a video a few, a few weeks ago about the track checkpoint. Click on that if you haven't seen it. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell. Thank you. Forty, forty-one miles, nearly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, forty-one miles. And how much climbing? Two thousand eighty-seven feet. Two thousand eighty-seven feet of climbing. It's still a nice day. We sheltered from the wind. That's a good ride. So we'll see you in a few days' time. Dan will doubtless be back at some point in the future, and we shall do some more gravel trails. So see you soon. See you soon.